Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Crank IR by Stepper. We'll get to it right after this. And when they ship it to you, it comes in this nice bag. Plenty of room for everything you're going to need. The main items that come with the Crank IR is the main box, the radio unit, the return arm, the pull tension assembly, and the mast itself. You get three two-foot extensions, three aluminum couplers, one with two slits in it, and four turnkey clamps. Two of the clamps will go on this one, which is where it will connect to the main mast. You get the Crank IR Quick Clamp Kit, spare parts, radio lug, and all the instruction manuals are coming on a flash drive for now due to the corona crud that we're dealing with. The radio lug is if you decide you do not want to use the radial unit. Should you have pre-cut wires for 20 meters, 40 meters, or whatever, this is where this comes in handy. Let's go get this put together and see if we can't make a contact or two. First thing you want to do is put the mass together. So we're going to throw the main box and the mast on the tripod and then lay the tripod down. Okay, we have the tripod on its side. I suggest using something to support it so that you don't risk damage to any part of the mast. Slide the main box over the mast and then we're going to put the fiberglass portion of the pole over the smaller tapered end of the mast. And then slide it up and make sure we securely fasten the main box to both halves. Okay, now we've got the main box hooked up and now we're going to put the top piece on. Some will do this one of two ways. They'll either pull it out and twist it, kind of like the collapsible fishing poles. I'm using these hose clamps that came with the kit. That way I don't have to worry about a collapse. They give you nine of them. Now we'll put the pulley system on the end of the... Okay, this is how the top pulley system comes shipped. What you can do is loosen these two lugs, raise the white blocks a little, and then extend it out. Once you have the blocks in place, this is how to look at the top of the antenna. Once you have the tensioner assembly on, you want to make sure that it's going the same direction that the main box is going. Now we're going to run the line from the main box through the pulleys and back it down to the main box. Once that's done, we'll stand the whole system up. And now we're going to run it back down to the take-up reel. Okay, you have to put the return arm in to the block. It has this screw, so it can only go in one way. Once you get it in, you're going to rotate it to lock it into place. And then run your line through the pulley, through the guide hole, and then we'll lock it onto the spool. This is how your line will look once it's run through the return arm. Now we're going to stand it up. Okay, now that we've got everything put together, we're going to stand the mast up. As you can see, there's some significant sag. It shows that it's very flexible and strong, but I recommend using one or two more items to support it. Okay, we have the whole system standing up. Now we're going to attach the radial unit. Okay, now we're ready to run the radials. Okay, we have the radials mounted. And I have them the direction I want them going, which is east, since I'm on the west coast. Okay, to tune this, you can see the shrink tubing right here. You're going to want to put whatever color it is per band. And I'll stick a chart up here in the corner. You want it pretty much centered inside this block. So we're going to try 20 meters first. So we're going to go until we see the green shrink tubing. Okay, green just went by. Put it right in the middle. Now we'll adjust the radials. You get the same color sequence of shrink tubing. Only when you get them, when they're brand new, they're not already put in place. And they do that because 
everyone's soil is a little different and your area will vary. I do not have it extended to the full nine feet that the tripod will go. But for now, everything is set up and ready to go. And with raising it, it did not affect the SWR at, at all. Yeah, Whiskey Juliet, Six Fox Trot, Southern California. Yeah, I'm trying out a new antenna. I just set up the brand new Crank IR from Stepper. I made a few contacts. This antenna is extremely easy to put together and set up even by yourself and quick to tune. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the space below. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. While you're at it, check out some of these other videos.